Hey everyone, another self-isolation bonus video. As I'm recording this, I am on day 70 of self-isolation. Anyhow, let's take a look at one of those old 1980s, 1990s commands from Pro Engineer that are still available in the interface. And I know I'd like to rip on these different commands in my other videos. I'm going to show you one today that I think is actually still useful. And again, for these obsoleted features, you have to change a config.pro option. Go to File, Options, Configuration Editor, and you're going to change Enable Obsoleted Features from the default No to Yes, and then you will be able to access these different commands from the command search, and you can even use the File Options Ribbon command to add them to the common tab in Creo Parametric 5.0 and later, 4.0 and later. I forget when the common tab was added, but anyhow, let's take a look at the command for the n-sided patch. And the idea behind the n-sided patch is that if you have five or more edges and you want to create a surface in between them, you can use the n-sided patch to do that. So when I click on the command, I get a menu with a bunch of commands like creating a blended surface or a conic surface or an approximate blend or n-sided surface. And I'll show these other options in later videos, but even some of these are pretty useful, like the conic surface and the approximate blend. But anyhow, let's take a look at doing the n-sided surface. Then I will click done out of the menu manager. And then you get one of these model dialog boxes with elements and action buttons from Pro Engineer 2001 and earlier for setting up this feature. And for this feature, we have curves in here and we are selecting the curves one by one. So I will start selecting a curve over here, hold down the control key and select the other curves in here. And when I'm done, I'll click OK and then done. You have boundary conditions, which is optional, but I'm going to hit the preview button. And so then we can see a preview of the surface that is created between those different edges. And so this comes in useful at certain times. Again, there are some different rules regarding the surface, like it has to be five or more edges that you are trying to connect. And by the way, you could do this with a boundary blend. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to suppress this surface for the moment. If we're going to do this with a boundary blend, I'll go to the model tab and boundary blend. I could select the first curve in the first direction. I'll use the shift key to build up the first curve in the first direction. Now I will hold down the control key and you'll start to see a preview of the surface that's created. I can hold down the shift key and select the other edge that it goes to, but you'll notice that the surface patches in this particular case are a lot different than the surface patches in the end-sided surface. And so this is probably not what I want. Let's hide this surface. Let's resume the previous surf surface. This is probably more like what I would want to use. So why is this command not available in the interface? You can actually do this from the style feature. I don't have a license for the style feature, so I can't show you this, but you can create, it, create an n-sided surface from the style feature. If you don't have ISDX though, hey, I think this is a good tool to have in the interface, so you might want to add it back in there. And again, in other videos, I'll show some of these other different options for the conic surface and n-sided patch. I hope all of you are staying home, staying healthy, and staying safe. And once again, I want to give a big thanks to our postal carriers and the people still delivering our packages, the people who are taking care of our sanitation and making sure that our trash is getting picked up, and also the people who are keeping the water flowing and the power on. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed this video.